Hi, welcome to Adventures and Things. I'm Michael Wright, and today I want to go on a little hike and talk to you about finding your purpose and why I think it's so important that everyone does this. And if you haven't found yours yet and you think time's just passing you by, don't worry, it took me forever to find mine. Walking and talking, hiker that sings. I'm Michael Wright, this is Adventures and Things new to this channel normally I do comedic hikes and adventures and things but today I wanted to show you that I'm more than just a funny fat guy I'm a funny fat guy with a purpose now I say it took me forever to find my sense of purpose but I think I always knew what my sense of purpose was I was just kind of steered in a different direction ever since I was a kid I always wanted to entertain people, make people laugh, give people kind of an escape from their classroom with my humor. And it didn't matter if I was getting kicked out of class. The only thing that mattered to me was that I was making my classmates laugh. And the further I got away from my purpose, the darker of a path I started going on, the more hedonistic, the more nihilistic my lifestyle became. Because when you don't have a sense of purpose, you have really nothing to live for. You become a bitter, jaded drunk like I was, and you just hate the world and you hate everyone. You see someone following their sense of purpose, and you get jealous and you get angry, and you try to make their lives shitty because you are so shitty on the inside. You're probably thinking, oh man, I don't want to end up like that guy. How do I find my sense of purpose? Well, it's really quite easy, actually. You just subscribe. <laughs> I know, but it is really easy. Your sense of purpose should be for the benefit of everybody. It should better everybody around you. What is good for the bee is good for the hive. And I'm not an entomologist, but I think that means get your shit together because people are counting on you. And it's true. You are needed. You are a necessity to somebody's life. Whether that be healthcare, whether that be firefighting, fighting or entertainment. And I know you're probably thinking entertainment, what is entertainment going to do to benefit everyone? Well, I'll give you an example here and I'll use a firefighter because I have a cousin who's a firefighter and I have a tremendous amount of respect for these people. So he goes out and he saves lives, but let's say he's out and he doesn't save a life or he has a really tough day and he comes home and all he wants is some form of escapism and he doesn't want to do drugs or alcohol. What does he have left? Entertainment. And that's where I come into play. He watches a crappy video that I do and he's all like, man, I feel way better about my life. So now you've found your sense of purpose, you know you have to set up goals and you're thinking, well, where do I start? Well, that's just it, you just start. You wanna be a writer, put pen to paper, just start writing. Write 15 minutes every single day, write about your day. You wanna help people? Go out and volunteer, go to a church, go to a science center, go to a soup kitchen, somewhere. And a lot of these places will give you ideas on how to get educated for cheaply or for freely so you can help. You wanna be an entertainer? Start a YouTube channel about hiking and adventures and things and then branch off in a video to philosophical discussions. It's all steps in the right direction and it's very easy to do. You just have to get out and do it. And if you're worried about what can go wrong, well, you need to shift your focus to what can and inevitably will go right. You need to focus on the solutions, not the problems. Because the fact of the matter is, is the outcome is unknown. It's out of your control. So you need to focus on things that are in your control, like your education, like your training, and most importantly, your progress. So now you've found your purpose and you're working on some goals, you're going to run into some obstacles, you're gonna find some naysayers. And these people are the people that didn't follow their purpose in life. Mom and Dad, YouTube isn't stupid. You're stupid, you big bunch of duties. <laughs> I know, but you're gonna, you're gonna have a bunch of naysayers. And I wanted to quote Marcus Aurelius and I wrote this down because it's something that I try to remind myself of every single day. Milk, bread, eggs, Oh wait, I know that's, that's a joke I still I think from Family Guy, but if you do not worry what others think, say, or do, but only if your actions are just and likely, you will gain time and tranquility to achieve your goals. Run straight towards your goals without looking left or right. And unless you're crossing a busy intersection, if that's your goal, then this is amazing advice. You don't worry about anyone else around you. You just focus on achieving your goals. So if you thought this was insightful or the mad ramblings of an insane ginger, let me know in the comments below. If you want more philosophical hikes, adventures and things, or super happy island time, then I highly suggest you subscribe. And uh, well, I'll see you later.